Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. In the coming weeks and months I'm going to be focusing a lot more on the ancient site of Gobekli Tepe and although many believe it's a unique site it may just be the tip of the iceberg. As reported earlier this month, archaeological excavations have begun in the southeastern province of San Herfa's Karahan Tepe, another ancient site that is home to more than 250 T-shaped pillars, which bear a striking resemblance to the more famous ones of Gobekli Tepe, which is 25 miles away from this sister site. These pillars of Karahan Tepe were discovered in 1997, but were surveyed in 2000, in 2011 and again two years ago. Surveys that were initiated by Istanbul University and headed by Professor Nesmi Karol. The survey showed more than 250 T-shaped pillars and experts are almost certain they date back to the same period of Gebekli Tepe, sometime between the 10th and 7th millenniums BC. In fact, Karahan Tepe is just one of 12 more locations in the region that may contain structures like Gebekli Tepe, all hidden below the surface. Talking to the media, Professor Carroll said the pillars were found using geomagnetic measurements and physical observations, and a topographic map of the region has helped them choose exactly where to excavate. Even without geophysics, hundreds of pillars are seen in aerial photographs, and there must be many more buried underground. As I showed in my last video, which gave some background on Gobekli Tepe, there were two types of T-shaped pillar. You have the oldest and largest, which were decorated primarily with animal reliefs, and these form the circular enclosures. Then you have the ones that came later, that were erected inside rectangular enclosures, and these contain no animal reliefs and were built around the ancient core of the settlement. A wall was even erected between the circular enclosures and the rectangular ones. So, at present, we do not know the age of the pillars of Karahan Tepe for sure, but if excavations show they are decorated with similar animal reliefs, then this will be another history rewriting discovery. Thanks to the work of Hugh Newman and Andrew Collins, what we know so far is that these stone pillars seem to be erected in parallel rows as well as circles. And, like Gebekli Tepe, there are relief carvings apparent and even include a serpent, as well as cup marks on top of the stones. I just want to take this opportunity to thank Hugh Newman and Megalithomania.co.uk for allowing me to use these images. There is a brilliant 10 minute long video on the Megalithomania channel which I have linked below in the description, which follows Hugh Newman and Andrew Collins as they look closer at the site in question. They noted that at least some of the T-shaped pillars are smaller than Gebekli Tepe, which may therefore make them later in origin, a similar age to the T-shaped pillars that are found inside the rectangular enclosures of Gebekli Tepe. But, saying that, Hugh Newman did locate the quarry that was used for the pillars, and found a huge 15 foot stone still lying within the quarry. As it is so large, it may date back to a similar time as the largest stones of Gebekli Tepe, and the serpent relief also indicates this earlier time. The stone in the quarry is of course unfinished, but it gives us an idea of how the pillars were cut from the bedrock. I have linked another video from the same channel in the description below, which shows this unfinished pillar in great detail, and is certainly worth a watch for those interested. Archaeologists are sure that Karahan Tepe does date to a similar period as when Gebekli Tepe was active, but whether it has origins that are similar to the earliest or latest phases of construction hasn't yet been scientifically tested. But, the limited evidence we have seems to imply there is a similar timeline and site development to what is seen at Gebekli Tepe. The site is currently dated to around 8500 BC, but until archaeologists get to the base of the stones, we cannot know the date of the earliest phase of work for sure. The September 2019 excavations will hopefully be able to give us answers. As you can see from the images available, the T-shaped pillars look quite badly eroded, but their tops have been exposed above ground for quite some time. Hopefully the soil has preserved them underground, so we should hopefully be able to see them in great detail in the future. As soon as I find anything more about the recent excavations, I'll report them here on Ancient Architects. 
Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.